This pretty blue house is built from scavenged materials, some of them very old. The windows are beautiful, the doors are beautiful, and part of the aesthetic is that pretty blue paint that is peeling. I love a deck on a tiny house because it extends your space by giving you somewhere outside to sit that makes you feel like part of a community. And I think that every tiny house should have a deck on it. When you come inside, you see that it has a beautiful, rich, brown color on the walls and on the floors. And the interior blue is equally lovely. The curtains are beautiful. The linens are beautiful. Even the satin blanket on the couch adds to a feeling of antique luxury, I think, is what it makes me think of. And I love that it's wider than a lot of tiny houses. Instead of just having one really long rectangle, you have, it's, it's more of a square shape. They have their water on the dresser. I don't believe they have running water in this little house. They do have a refrigerator. They do have a heater, but no actual running water. In those situations, usually it means that they have a community toilet, a community shower. It's very common. This bed is either twin size or a full size. I'm leaning towards a full size. So it's not a huge loft, but it's enough to let two people sleep. In any tiny house, the aesthetic, the way you decorate makes a huge difference in how the space feels. And I, I think this is a really great example of that. They have these huge chairs and a full-size couch, but it still feels roomy.